Good morning, everybody. Well, I say good morning. I don't know if I'm going to stay up or not. Um, it's 5.20. Um, it's 31 degrees out. <laughs> I had to go to the bathroom, so I fired that up. Warming up a little bit. But I might get back in the sleeping bag. Because sunrise is not till 7.21. And... I don't know. It's just too dang cold. But, slept great last night. I had to get up. Well, that's my second time. But the cold will do that to you. It was a good night's sleep, for the most part. It was a good night's sleep. I mean, I went to bed. It was 10-something. So it was it was good sleep. If I'm gonna stay up, I'm gonna have to go fix some coffee and fire up the fire out there. I just don't know if I wanna do that yet or not. Just don't know if I'm ready for that. But anyway, I'll bring you guys back shortly. Hey. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not. But it sounds like coyotes just made a kill or something. But that was a that was a bunch of coyotes. I meant uh, I almost picked it up the camera and filmed this last night. Um but right after I got in bed, probably been in bed a few minutes, I zipping through something online real quick and a bunch of barred owls sound like coming from that direction um towards the that would be the north yeah yeah um we're calling back and forth really loud but that right there sounded like a pack of coyotes that just got something you know how they'll do when they team up on something all at once. That's what that sounded like. It was a pack of coyotes. I don't know if I got the camera going in time or not. That was crazy. We're in a national forest. Anything could be possible. All right, guys. Um, well, I came on out, <laughs> made a cup of coffee. Right now, I've got um, GoPro shooting a time lapse of the sunrise this morning. <laughs> it's cold. Um, screwed up somewhere on the fire pit. Let's talk about that. 
Um, I think what happened when I turned it off yesterday, I had it on for a little bit yesterday just testing the burn and everything. When I turned it back on, or when I turned it off after I tested my burn on it, I think there's a leak somewhere. I don't know where. I think it's on this. I didn't turn it all the way off. So it's just sitting there shooting gas out and I let a good chunk of gas out. Either yeah, that or a five pound cylinder just won't burn as long as I was trying to burn it. It's okay. Mr. Buddy's throwing some heat out for me. Man, it's been a gorgeous weekend. A little chilly, but it's been a gorgeous weekend. Between the coyotes earlier, barred owls last night. I heard something down that way. Could have been horses, because there's horse camps here too. Horses not happy with one another or whatever. I'm going to show you this. I mean, it's, it looks a lot brighter than it really is. But it's, oops, sorry about that. But it's gorgeous. Gorgeous sunrise. All right, well, that's it for now, Crooked. I'll calm it down over. But I see campfires going up, up the hill. So everybody else is stirring too. I'm in no big hurry, but I'm gonna eat some breakfast here in a little bit. Okay, so you remember when we were back here earlier in the year, I came down this road to a certain point and I turned around and went back. Well, I want to come back down this road and go a little further because it goes a lot further than what I thought. So we're going to check it out. Um, may not be anything to it, but don't know until we try it. So here we go. Okay, just ran into a nice couple coming down this road. Um, they were coming out. They actually camped down here last night, and I was like, ah! Dispersed camping right down the road from where I was. Um, like I said, I wished I had taken this road a long time ago, but I didn't. But we're gonna go on down here. Let's see, Grand Gap. We're gonna go on down here a little bit because he was telling me that if I keep going to the um, straight and not veer off to the right, that I'm gonna come to the big campgrounds down here in big open area. So I'm gonna take a look at that. Maybe be some something good to take a picture of. Um, he was using Gaia too, and I told him I said, "Yeah, it looks like the roads turned to mud." And he goes, "No, no, no." He said, "You can't go by that." And he said. Uh, they're actually gravel and I said well there's another road that I just passed and I marked on Gaia that uh, I may go back to here in a little bit I mean if this is the worst I, you know I may I may be here a little while today because I may do some more exploring but uh, anyway uh, enjoying life right now enjoying it all right guys so i'm continuing down this road it shows a dirt road that's gravel so i'm continuing on down um it's two lane or two track you'll see in front of me um 
but it's pretty back in here it's uh i don't know how far this goes i mean it i thought it ended i really did i thought it ended that's why i didn't mess with it last time i was here but shoot this is i'm liking it i just remembered i was like i wonder where my gas is at right now but i'm just under a three quarters of a tank And I found another road. Now that's a dirt road. I'll show you that right there. It goes up in there and there's no telling where it goes. And it may be a camping spot back in there. Uh, I didn't know there was dispersed camping back this far. That road goes decent ways up in there. So, I don't know guys. <laughs> Honey, it may be home in time for dinner. <laughs> so, let's just keep going. Okay, we're at the end. Came down the road, there's some hitching posts and stuff. There's trails behind me and hiking trails, horse trails, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna back it up, turn around. We're gonna head back out. But uh, yeah, I found out this is camping. Try not to back over this hitching post behind me. That would suck. So I this simple day of tear down camp, go to a special place and then go home. It's gonna be it today. I dare say I may try this other road. Um, pretty neat. This is pretty back in here. That guy, that guy mentioned something. Um, he said he calls this the Fruity Pebbles fall type fall yet because you I didn't quite catch that could you please say that again but uh it's kind of like um you got the sprinkling of color here and there and it's pretty I took some pictures I'll throw a couple in that I took up here at that big clearing in the field uh it was gorgeous He's, he was right it's pretty up there and that's where they camped last night so I marked it on Gaia for myself for another trip up here. I'm not done with Big South Fork at all. Um, I got more to do here. I didn't realize it was, I mean, it's such a vast area um, for backpacking and that kind of stuff. I wonder if that's, I believe that might go back to a camp spot too. So that's what I'm talking about. You're just driving along and all of a sudden there's a dive off and it could be backcountry camping. Um, you just, I think you have to have a permit. It's the only thing. So, I mean, that's no big deal. I, I, I'll pay for a permit. I don't care. Um, you know, I know the money goes to pay to the employees of this place to, you know, so they can keep eye on the place and do their thing up here. But anyways, this video may be a two-part video because it may get too long in the tooth. But when I'm finding stuff, I'm bringing it to you. So, doing what I love.
right guys so we're fixing to hit our last stop before i hit the interstate to head back home and we're about to pull in as you can see here i'm getting my first experience at bucky's um i actually i'm gonna get gas i'm gonna feet, turn right onto Sweeney Drive. shut up woman <laughs> um I'm going in here to get, I'm, well, I'm gonna try to get gas. I may not be able to, but uh, this is gonna be my first experience. This is crazy. It's like going to the mall. Um, but anyway, so that's gonna be it for this adventure, guys. I appreciate you watching. And um, gonna leave a link down below for Bandy Creek Campground. So if you wanna camp there at some point, click on the link and you can, um, get you a um, your, make your reservations because you have to make them online you cannot make them at the campgrounds themselves so there's that i appreciate you watching appreciate everything you do for us and the support of the channel is just awesome just love you guys to death so we'll see you on the next one be prepared